Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Hope everybody's doing good this morning. It got cold last night. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I just did a short before I started. I was on the couch and Kitty gets up there and she sleeps in between my legs. I don't know, I probably... Out of a seven days, she probably about four days out of seven, she'll she'll come up there and lay down with me until I get ready to do this. And uh, when I get ready to get up, I just say, I'll just say, "Daddy has to get up," and she jumps off. She knows, she knows what I'm saying. It's obvious. I'll say, "Daddy has to get up now," and she'll she'll get up from what she'll be you know totally asleep. When she hears me say that, she gets up. But anyway. Uh, I was I was like making like a kiss and so I was going like that to her and every time I did it she would and she was asleep and, and I mean I guess she was obviously she could hear me maybe she, you know how cats are she was she looked to me to be asleep and uh, she would twitch her tail every time I went like that made a kissing sound and it was just cute and then she moved her leg after that after a few times doing it she moved her leg and then uh you know i only did it like 30 some seconds 39 seconds or something but check it out it's really funny she's she's something else anyway today's wednesday april 27th currently it's 43 degrees i got the heater on in here because uh, you got the heat turned way down to where it wouldn't probably wouldn't come on anyway but uh it got to when I looked, I woke up and well, Kitty woke me up and she hadn't been doing that much, but she woke me up this morning. Um, meow, 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 knocking things over, uh, walked across me, stuff like that. But um, I looked to see what the temperature was and it was 35 at that time. And uh, I, I'm, I'm tired of moving those plants back and forth, back and forth and, you know, in here. And so I had, last night, I would covered them with uh, plastic like I would out here uh, if there was going to be a frost, you know, and, and they were out in the garden, you know, I just covered them up in, in clear plastic. And uh, it seems like they did fine. I went ahead and put them out. It was 43. Yeah, 43 when I checked this, when I got up. Uh, and uh, I put them out in the sun because the sun will heat them up pretty good. So they seem okay. And I hope there's not going to be many more that will get down that low. If it's in the 40s, I don't really worry about it that much. Once it gets in the 30s, I start to worry something. I mean, I've got a lot invested in these plants, a lot of time, more than anything. And uh, I sure would hate to lose them before they even got out there. Um, okay, the, the high today is going to be 65. Uh no chance of rain. Humidity right now is 97%. It'll go down as the day goes on. Uh, no wind and air quality is 41. That's good. So, um, tomorrow I got to go for um, my pre infusion blood work. They always do blood work and check for damage like liver damage or kidney damage stuff like that uh, before they'll let me have my infusion because friday is already time for my infusion again uh, it just seems like it's faster and faster you know coming around it's every two months but it just seems like yesterday i went <laughs> i went and had it done um my appointment's at 10 o'clock this time. I wanted it at 11 because I like to be there for lunch. <laughs> they bring that lunch wagon around. But, you know, it takes, it usually takes at least two hours. So I guess I'll be there. Maybe they'll let me have a lunch box even if I'm leaving or something. I don't know. They're pretty nice about that. Because I look forward to my little lunch boxes uh, that I get there. Um... And I'll, you know, chances are, unless it's there's some reason I can't, chances are I'll do a, a little video while I'm in there. Um, a lot of people have never seen what it's like where, uh, you know, the other people are in there getting infusions for different, 
different things, you know. They might even be getting like a, a some blood transfusion, I guess they call that. And, uh, you know, they might be getting an iron infusion or, I hate to say it, a lot of them are getting, you know, infusions of chemo. Uh, you know, uh, it's, it's the cancer, it's the regional cancer center is where I have it done. So that, I'll be doing that Friday. Um, luckily, I've not had any damage to any of my organs or anything. Uh, hope I never do. So anyway, um, today there'll be a taste test with Mike. I did a, another Dollar Tree item, and it was the um, Snaps, I believe it's called. The, the same one that I tried, uh, brand that I tried, the mozzarella sticks. These are loaded potato sticks that I tried. So you definitely want to check that out. And um, there'll be a Kitty's Corner today with a guest host. We haven't had a guest host. Have we, Kitty? She's right here. We haven't had a guest host in a long time. And... And... Uh, this time it's going to be a dog named Prince. Prince. So, he told some pretty funny jokes too. And Kitty, Kitty likes having guest, guest hosts. So, anyway, um, you know, if the, the Kim loves Artie, it's one of her friend's uh, dogs. So, you know, if you can send me a, uh, a frontal picture, like, like a profile picture, it has to be front. You can't have, I can't do them with them turned sideways. The, the mouth won't work right as far as, you know, doing it the way you have to do on Kitty's Corner. Um, but if you have one you'd like to be a guest host, host contact me and you send me a picture that I can use. Um, the mouth needs to be kind of close. It needs to be really closed. If their mouth is like, it won't, it'll show a mouth in the middle of that. You know, it has to be kind of like, like that <laughs> to, to, to work the best or uh, even with a smile. But if it's open, it won't, it won't work. So anyway, uh, just contact me. We'll get to get you to send me a picture if you'd like to have your your pet co-host and it could it doesn't have to be a cat it could be any kind of pet I've done hamsters I've done I've done everything I've done a flower <laughs> I've done a kitty's corner with a flower before <laughs> and made, put a mouth on it <laughs> and I, I've even used my gnomes out here I've done a kitty's corner with my gnomes if you look Y'all ought to look on the playlist for Kitty's Corner. I got some crazy ones here and there. <laughs> uh, okay. I had Cupid, I think, one time. <laughs> a lot of them, some of them got uh, deleted, though, uh, when they did all these changes where they, you know, involved with children and this and that because I got scared that, you know, they wouldn't allow them to be shown at the time, you know, everybody was like, what do I, what, what do I do, what do I do? So I deleted like 500 videos, not just them, all kinds of different things. Uh, so I still got 5,000 or more. So I got plenty more videos. Okay. Last night we had a seafood dinner. Uh, we had crab cakes from Aldi and they're delicious by the way. Um, we had the fish fillets, breaded fish fillets from uh, grocery, I mean, from Walmart, the great value brand. We had seasoned fr fries, they were from Aldi, and a salad that Joy made was great. We didn't have any coleslaw. I was wanting coleslaw, but we didn't have any. But we had salad we needed to use, so that's what we did. You don't want to waste food these days. Well, you don't want to waste food any time, but I'm saying these days you got to really, as much as it's costing for food, you know, you want to use everything you got, that's for sure. So that's what it looked like. That's cocktail sauce and ketchup and, of course, tartar sauce. That was real good last night. We need to eat more, more seafood. 
<clears throat> and then tonight, I uh, got out some uh, chicken tenders, you know, raw, not breaded, and then I'm going to bread them myself like I do, probably with some Parmesan and uh, garlic and herb seasoning and stuff like that with the, and with the bread, the breading. Um, I'll use probably some, I don't know, I might use panko breadcrumbs this time, but I usually use Italian breadcrumbs. I'm looking up at them right now on the cabinet. Uh, Italian breadcrumbs is what I usually use for them, but panko is, makes it even crunchier, though, if you use it. So, okay, now it's time for today's tidbits, everyone. Let me get my eyes on. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, check out that short I just did with Kitty. <laughs> She's something else. She's still laying there? Yeah, she loves this heater. She's getting all this. You like that heater, baby? Huh? Feel good, doesn't it? Okay. Shorter, warmer winters could impact maple syrup industry. No, it's already expensive. I love real maple syrup. Oh, we can't afford it all the time. We like it though. Okay, shorter winters and lower snowfall totals in recent years have created challenges for maple syrup producers. Temperatures fluctuating above and below freezing are suitable for production, but the average number of sub-zero nights has reduced between 12 to 18 from 20 to 30 in 30 years. It has caused major changes in the six week production season. God, they only got a short season. Gigantic asteroid to fly past Earth on Thursday, according to NASA. I wonder how close. You think it's going to be real close? Let's see. A potentially hazardous asteroid named 418135 2008. AG 33. Remember that now. Twice the size of the Empire State Building will zoom past Earth Thursday. The asteroid will move over 30 times the speed of sound and come within 2 million miles. Oh dang, it's going to be close. 2 million miles at its closest point to Earth. However, NASA scientists expect the asteroid to skim past the Earth without any risk of impact. We got a pretty good buffer zone, 2 million miles. I wouldn't say that's exactly a close call. Okay. This is interesting, too. Uh, global warming exposes old artifacts preserved in ice. Melting ice triggered by global warming has exposed many artifacts locked in ice. In August 2019, a hiker found a 1,700-year-old sandal in the snow in the mountains of Oppland, Norway, and notified the Secrets of the Ice, a glacial archaeology program, about it. Experts said the sandals owner wore it with wool wrappings to fight the cold. I hope so. Sandals in the snow. Um, Venus, Jupiter to align in morning sky this week. Can't see that real good. About 45 minutes before sunrise, I'll be up. No, not look low towards the east southeast horizon for the rest of the week to view Venus and Jupiter. A waning crescent moon can also be seen in the right side of the planets. On Saturday morning, April 30, Venus and Jupiter will appear very close together, separated by one half degree. Now, back in the day when I was working, I, you know, I'd be up real early. I always had to be. I had a job in a vending company. I had to be there at 4 in the morning, and it took 45 minutes to get there. Uh, I got up at 2.30 every morning to go to work. So I had to be in bed by about 6 or 7 at night. And I hated it. I totally hated that. I, I loved the job, but I hated getting up that early. I couldn't stand it. You know, it was, I had to go to sleep right after I ate dinner, you know. But um, then other job, I had one that had to be there at five in the morning, and then they later changed it to six. All those years I worked for Coca-Cola, I believe you had to be there at six. 
Yeah, pretty sure six o'clock is when you had to be there. Um, Cause you had lots of things to do before you, before you went out, you know, but uh, I was always getting up early back then, but not anymore. I'm, I mean, it's Kitty woke me up this morning at eight o'clock. Meow, 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 meow. Uh, knocking things over. Like I said, I think I said something about it maybe already, but she was all over the place. Okay. How to keep your pets healthy and happy in spring. When she got up, she saw Joy. No, she turned around when Joy got walked through there. She's still there, though. You hear this, kitty? Follow these simple tips to keep your pet healthy, happy, comfortable, and stress-free this spring. Cats tend to cough up hairballs when the weather warms up. Oh, boy. I can't wait. Uh, give a teaspoon of pureed squash or pumpkin once a day. She ain't going to eat pureed squash or pumpkin. What? What you, you force it down or something? To help cats move hairballs easily through their digestive tract. Play fetch. Give a belly rub or a chew toy to help keep your pets happy. She, she ain't going to eat pureed squash or pumpkin. I promise you she wouldn't touch it. <laughs> she can't get her to eat tuna stuff of, of most things. That's tuna even. Okay, they got, sometimes they have a little, like, um, segment on, on these, where I get these from, and, uh, today it was about, but way back, you know, uh, people, uh, really, like, they, they worshipped the weather back in the day, so here's, here's how it went, uh, lightning-wielding Zeus, that's one. Zeus was believed to be the controller of weather by the Greeks. He was depicted as a mature man with a sturdy figure brandishing a lightning bolt, a royal scepter, and an eagle. It is said that he could control the movement of stars and decide the functioning of day and night. Indira, the Hindu god. Indira, oh, yeah, Indira is the Hindu god of lightning, thunder, rain, and storm. He is depicted as having gold or violet skin and four arms. Indira is said to have created rivers and streams by shaping the mountains and valleys with his sacred axe. Indira is worshipped under different names in many Asian countries. Now, on the top, they spell it I-N-D-I-R-A, but all during this, what I just said, it says... I-N-D-R-A, so I'm not for sure about the pronunciation of which one's right. Norse God of Weather. <coughs> the Germanic people of Scandinavia believe that Friar is the God of sunshine, fair weather, and a good harvest. Humans were sacrificed to please him. What? Thor is the god of thunder and lightning. He is visualized as a large, powerful man with eyes of lightning. People thought that thunder was the sound of his goat-pulled chariot crossing the sky. So you got Thor, the god of thunder and lightning, and they got him. They got a goat pulling his chariot. What? Come on, give him a big like stallion. You know? Why do you pick a goat for for Thor? Anyway, yes. Romans worshipped Jupiter. Romans worshipped Jupiter as the god of cloud, clouds, rain, thunder, and lightning. He is depicted as holding a thunderbolt in his left hand and is believed to use lightning to strike down his opponents. Interestingly, only white-colored and castrated bulls, lambs, or goats were sacrificed to please Jupiter. Uh oh, they they got Thor's goat for for for, Ju for Jupiter. <laughs> Rei Jin and Fujin of Japan. Fujin, the god of wind, is said to have protected the country by devastating the Mongol fleets when they tried to invade Japan in 1274 and 1281. Rei Jin is the god of thunder, lightning, and storm. 
Japanese parents tell children to cover their belly buttons during a storm or Rajin will eat it. What? What? <laughs> okay. That's it for today's tidbits, everybody. And that's going to be it for this morning's coffee break. I sure hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. All right, everybody. I hope you have a great day. We'll see you later on with some good videos. Taste test with Mike, a Dollar Tree product. Uh, loaded potato sticks and kitty's corner with guest host prince bye everybody and have a great day and god bless